so guys hello from the office i know that it it's a very unusual video and the reverse is really unusual and you can't see it but actually a uh, fluffy koala is holding my phone right now so that i can film this video for you well our office is still uh, waiting for the team to arrive it's still early here i have decided to film this short video for you uh, we have uh, downloaded the new video at our channel just yesterday uh, in this video, myself and our psychologist Alessia, we are watching a video made by another YouTuber and uh, we share our opinion about this video. And while we discuss uh, that video, I'm sharing a story about a friend of mine, a lawyer from Kiev, who went out on a date and uh, the bill was about $250. Uh, she went out with a gentleman from Europe uh, who has suggested her to pick up the restaurant so she has chosen the restaurant that she really likes she doesn't go there like every day or every week but uh, when a special occasion arrives she goes there to celebrate something and later on the guy has accused her on being a scammer because the bill is too big and many guys has uh, written in the comments below this video that 250 dollars is like way too much uh, for the meal for two people Yes, I get it, like $250, it's not like your everyday meal. Uh, but the point um, of sharing this story with you is to make sure you understand that Ukraine is quite different. So it's a total cliche that it's, it's like a really poor country and you can travel here and for $100 you can live at the king. Really, uh, ladies in Ukraine, like ladies in all countries all around the world, like gentlemen in all countries all around the world, uh, they uh, have different uh, attitude to money and different value of money. If we're talking about a lady who is a successful lawyer and a friend of mine, she was a lawyer in Kharkov, then she has moved to Kiev, she was headhunted by another company. Uh, so in Kiev, uh, she has bought an apartment. Yes, she has taken a loan in the bank, but still the apartment cost uh, half, million, half million dollars and it's, uh, she is divorced, so she is working like really hard to pay for the department, uh, to take care of her son, uh, to uh, look great, yes, to take great care of herself. And if we are talking about that exact lady, she is a really beautiful, hot, successful lady who speaks English, who is learning French, who is well traveled, and who looks like an Instagram model, even though she has a kid. So, the problem occurs when uh, guys uh, from different countries, especially from US, after watching uh, numerous video or reading numerous articles online, assume that they just can travel to Ukraine and uh, pick up uh, the best candidates, the most beautiful ladies to date. So, guys who are, uh, let's say, average looking guys and not that popular among ladies back home in their countries, uh, they are not super rich and there is nothing bad about not being rich or being a well off. So they travel here and they start chasing ladies who invest lots of time and money into their looks, uh, who have great education, uh, ladies who are, are self-made and are pretty well established. And then this guy starts claiming that, oh wow, uh, I have been scammed. I went out with her and the bill was like $200 or $300. Uh, guys, uh, if you are chasing ladies like Instagram models or uh, busy professionals uh, who really look great, like you know, uh, in uh, Ukrainian language and in Russian language, uh, people often tell that, oh wow, this lady looks expensive, and they do not try to describe uh, like the, the price tags uh, of her clothes. No, uh, they are speaking. Uh, about the fact that she looks like uh, she has taken a great care of herself. Like her nails look impeccable, her hair looks nice, she smells nice, she is fit in the great shape, so you can tell that she eats healthy and she works out. A person who invests lots of time and yes money into the looks, into the way this person looks. And uh, in Ukraine, as well as in Russia, there is this cult of appearance. So uh, people really care about the way they look the way they dress, though this is important, this is a part of our culture. So when uh, guys who do not care that much about the way they look, uh, about the way they dress, 
uh, when they travel to Ukraine or to Russia and they start chasing these expensive ladies, uh, they usually end up disappointed. Because uh, if we are speaking again about the lady in the example, the lawyer, uh, when she goes out uh, with her uh, Ukrainian admirers, she picks expensive restaurants because uh, these are the places she usually goes on date. These are the places she likes, these are the places she can afford. So when she goes out with a foreign gentleman, uh, she will invite him there or she will tell him that she would like to go there. And yes, she will ex she'll expect that the gentleman will foot the bill because she is Ukrainian and it's part of our culture. In Ukraine, if the lady goes out on a date, she expects the man to pay. That's a cultural sin. Uh, so if you don't like it, if you do not agree with it, if you think that uh, people should split bills, probably you should date in countries um, where ladies are uh, more independent. Uh, they, uh, you, you know, like uh, they are more emancipated and for them uh, this um, equality that guys and ladies are equal is like vitally important. In Ukraine, ladies love being behind the men. So uh, for such ladies as uh, my friend in the example, it is quite complicated to find a good guy in Ukraine because uh, as a Ukrainian woman, she wants to date somebody who would be more well-established than she is, somebody who would be more ambitious, more successful. And it's not uh, because she is like greedy or she is materialistic. That's in uh, the blood of Ukrainian and Russian women to be willing to date somebody who is stronger than you. And uh, nowadays uh, we measure, women measure the strengths of guys uh, not in the amount of muscles that they have in their body, but in their ability to earn money, to provide for the family. So yes, she is looking for somebody uh, who would be more established as she is. Because if the guy is less established, uh, First of all, the Ukrainian guy would feel not that comfortable next to a lady who earns more. That's also in the blood of Ukrainian guys. And if the guy is uh, okay with the fact that she, his lady is earning much more, she works longer hours, then for sure such lady doesn't need a guy like that. That's like a totally different scenario. So the problem occurs when guys uh, from foreign countries assume that just because they are foreign, they can travel to Ukraine and they can date uh, like Instagram models, beauty queens, successful lawyers, expensive women, ladies who look like really beautiful, Hollywood beautiful. And they expect these ladies to like them the way they are. I mean, these guys with their bellies, uh, if the guy is good looking, uh, like him because uh, he's just good, a good looking guy from the United States and um, they are not willing to actually invest into this relationship. And by investing, I mean time, uh, I mean energy, yes, heart and yes, money. When we are dating someone, uh, we buy presents for this person, uh, we spend time with this person, we might have spent this time at work, etc. Um, I know that many guys would tell that Oh, that's shallow that a lady wants to date a, guy, date a guy who is like well established or who is hard working or who knows how to earn money. That's like so shallow of the, uh, of the lady to think like that. But if you will uh, try to look at it from the other angle, their desire to date a really beautiful a young lady is shallow as well. I have been doing matchmaking for 11 years and I have never ever met a guy who would tell me that, oh, she doesn't have to be beautiful. I just want her to be a great person. No, it's always about the looks. Uh, so it's uh, quite natural that ladies want to date uh, somebody they feel attracted to as well, if we're speaking about the looks. So yes, guys, if you want to date an expensive lady, a really good looking lady, somebody who has a great education, who has, a, you know, who has an impressive career, somebody who has invests lots of time, energy, and money into her looks, an expensive woman, she would expect uh, that she will take her to the place she usually goes uh, with, her, uh, with her friends, by herself, with her Ukrainian admirers, and you will have to compete with these Ukrainian admirers. And it's not scam. It's just about uh, your willingness to date the best female. So I hope it was helpful and I hope that uh, the quality of the video is not really bad. I try to do it with my phone. Uh, so uh, 
please text me if you have any further questions. Uh, your critique is also welcomed, but uh, critique like, oh, all those women are shallow and materialistic. Uh, well, uh, give some uh, real feedback and critique. Uh, we all know that, yes, ladies expect guys to foot the bill and to provide for the family. Uh, you can uh, argue with that, you can say that it is uh, like nonsense, you can try to change that, but it is like it is. So, uh, females are such cruel creatures, they want to date somebody who can take care of them and future kids. Uh, that they will have with a gentleman. I hope it was helpful. I hope you have a nice Friday. I hope that the quality is uh, good enough so that I can download this one. And later on, we will do the live video with Alessia to cover more questions in the video that we have downloaded yesterday. With love, Svetlana Mucha, Diolli.com.